Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Let's go ahead and talk about Connect Room templates. Um, how they work, what they're for. Uh, essentially, Connect Room templates allow you to duplicate or clone a Connect Room that you've already created. So if you've already put a lot of time and effort into customizing a room, creating some layouts, loading in all your content, and setting maybe preferences inside the session for how you want your trainings, meetings, and webinars to go, when we leverage templates, we can actually duplicate that entire process and that will carry over into your new connect rooms. Everything will carry over, including the, the time you've put in, uh, the pods, the layouts, everything will carry over. It'll literally be, literally be as if you have created an identical room, except it'll have a new name and a new link. So um, let's go ahead and cover how to do that. It's actually super quick and super easy. We're just gonna have to move a couple things on the back end. Um, so to quickly go to the back end portal from your connect room, you can actually click on the, the name tab up top here and you're gonna see a button that says manage meeting information. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that. Uh, I'm actually gonna close down this room just so um, it's all closed down and we're good to go. And um, we're gonna click on the meetings tab here at the top and you'll see my room right here, Kyle's class, and I called it master just so that I know which one is the actual template. And um, well, all we have to do is simply move this room into this folder. Um, that's if we want to put it in our own personal template folder. Um, so we'll go ahead and check the box off next to it, click the move button, and we will simply go ahead and select and click on the my templates folder, and then we'll click move one more time. And we have been given confirmation that we have in fact moved the room, so I'll click OK. And now we no longer have it under our mean meetings list, but instead if we click on this folder, we'll see that our room is now in here. You'll see I also have a couple other rooms in here from the past. So what I can do now is if I go to my meetings tab and I go to click on new meeting, I can go to create a room, I can name it, I can call this Kyle's class section one and I can't spell of course um, then we'll call this Kyle class section one and down here under select templates when we hit this drop down menu instead of using the default meeting template which is just the regular three layouts that Adobe Connect will give you I can now go ahead and select my old room and again, now I'll create a brand new room, except everything from Kyle's class master will carry over into that new section. Um, so it's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and click finish and we'll click on that room just to open it up. And you'll notice that this room will look exactly like the last one. Again, everything carries over contents, layouts, pods, preferences. In fact, if you want to make your rooms available for other licensed users on your connect server, we can do the same steps, but instead of loading it into the My Templates folder, uh, we can actually check this box, click Move, and then you'll notice there's a shared templates area. So this means other users, other licensed users like yourself, um, they can leverage those templates. So if you want to create like a branded, you know, meeting room that your team leverages, you know, once a week or for whatever the case may be, um, you guys can do that. So I'll click on Shared Templates, click Move. And again, now other licensed users can leverage that room. So that's meeting templates summed up in a quick video right there. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Check us out. Hit that bell notification so you guys can uh, stay up to date with all the new content as we're putting them out. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.